Now let us discuss the next topic Roman numerals. We have been using the Hindu Arabic numeral system so far but this is not the only system to you for using the numbers. So we have another system that is Roman numeral system. So this system we can find in the class or while completing the class timetable for different classes. So we can find the Roman numerals. Now we use some symbols for representing some particular Hindu Arabic numerals. So in the first column we take Hindu Arabic numerals and in the second column we take Roman numerals. So to represent one, so we use I in the Roman numeral and to represent five we use V and to represent ten, so we use the symbol X and for fifty we use the symbol L and the 100 is represented by the symbol C and then next 500 is represented by D and 1000 is represented by M. So these are the symbols which we use to represent the Hindu Arabic numerals. Now we can write the Roman numerals for the Hindu Arabic numerals such as so 1 means I and if you want to write for 2 then we write I I for 3 and for 4 we represent so but while writing we have to follow some rules so while writing the Roman numerals that represents the Hindu Arabic numerals we have to follow some rules now let us discuss the rules to be followed while writing the Roman numeral system now the first rule is if a symbol is repeated its value is added as many times as it is repeated now for example if you repeat the symbol i so then it represents that 1 plus 1 equals to 2 if the symbol is repeated 3 times x x x then it represents 10 plus 10 plus 20 equals to 30. Now the second rule is a symbol is not repeated more than three times. So any symbol is not repeated more than three times and we can say that here note the symbols such as V L and D are never repeated Now the third rule, if the symbol of a smaller value is written to the right is written to the right of the symbol of a greater value
its value is added to the value of greater symbol for example v i is z so the i represents the symbol of the smaller value so it is written to the right of the symbol represents the greater value then its value is added to the value of the greater symbol so that is 5 plus 1 equals to 6 so then if you take x i i so here also the symbols of the smaller values are written to the symbol of the greater value so then we, these values will be added to the greater value so 10 plus 2 plus 2 equals to 10 plus 1 plus 1 equals to 12 now the fourth one is if the symbol of a smaller value is written to the left of the symbol of a greater value its value is subtracted from the value of the greater symbol now for example ix so the value of the smaller symbol is written to the left of the value of the greater symbol then its value will be subtracted from the value of the greater symbol so then it represents 10 minus 1 equals to 9 so then if you take x l so we take 50 minus 10 equals to 40 now the next fifth one is the symbols v l and d are never written to the left of any symbol means v l and d are never subtracted so the symbols v l and d are never subtracted means they are never written to the left of any symbol now the sixth one is the symbol i can be subtracted from v and x only so the symbol i can be subtracted only from v and x so then i v means we get 5 minus 1 equals to 4 and i x means 10 minus 1 equals to 9 so here i will be written to the left of the symbols v and x now the seventh one is the symbol x can be subtracted from L and C only means the symbol X should be subtracted only from L and C for example X L means 50 minus 10 equals to 40 
and x equals to 100 minus 10 equals to 90. So then the symbol x cannot be subtracted from any other symbols other than L and C. So using these seven rules we can write any Hindu Arabic numeral as the Roman numeral. Now for example 231 is the Hindu Arabic numeral so it can be written so 200 plus 30 plus 1 in the expansion so then we write 200 means 100 means C so we use 2 C C here plus 30 means 3 tens so X X X and 1 represents I next 78 so 78 can be written as 50 plus 20 plus 5 plus 3 so 50 plus 20 is 70 70 plus 5 75 plus 3 78 so 50 can be written as L 20 means X X 5 means V and 3 means I I I now let us solve the problem depend on the based on the Roman numerals write 6998 in Roman numerals so let us take the first question 69 can be written as 60 plus 9 and 60 can be written as 50 plus 10 plus 9 means 10 minus 1 so 50 plus 10 means 50 means L and 10 is X so 10 minus 1 so 1 should be subtracted from 10 means the symbol I should be written to the left of the symbol X so then I X so this represents the Roman numeral of 69 in the second question 98 so the 98 equals to 90 plus 8 so 90 can be written as 100 minus 10 plus 8 can be written as 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so this equals to 100 minus 10 means 10 is subtracted from 100 so the symbol x should be written to the left of the symbol c so then we write x c and 5 means v so then triple i represents 3 If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.